This STB556 class setup is unmatched. Yo, what's up? It's Elusive. If you guys are looking for a class setup like this... In a corner. Thank you for running the damn tactical rifle and missed the shot. Because you could have probably gotten a lucky headshot, bruh. I would have been actually mad. This kid's running around with a combat knife. Ain't no damn way, boy. Then stick around and watch the full video. In this video, I dropped a nuclear, almost two nuclears, using this STB, bro. This is how fire this class setup is. It literally has no recoil, damage range, and fast ADS. I was lasering people in head glitches. I'm not talking about where the whole head's showing. I'm talking about where the nose or the forehead and above were showing, bro. That's how much of a laser this gun was. I also forgot to mention, I might have dropped one of the fastest nukes in Modern Warfare 2. I put a timer on the clip with no cuts when I got to my nuclear streak, and let's just say it was pretty damn fast. And I don't know if anyone beat the time. If someone did, let me know down in the comments. But either way, this was a hell of a fast nuke. So if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand. If you guys are interested in best class setups, tips and tricks, how to get better, best settings, nuclear gameplay, and the camo grind in Modern Warfare 2, then subscribe. It's free. But now that's over, let's get into me using this absolutely insane STB class setup and dropping an MGB with it. Alrighty guys, I finally got farm. I should be able to drop a nuke on here as long as I don't get hit by a shotgun or kids are camping in corners. Which, that's honestly every single damn game. They always got somebody with a terrible mic, huh? The hell? He punched me and then tried to shoot it. Yeah, it wasn't gonna work, brother. I need to get the hell out of here. I didn't realize it was headquarters. Headquarters is too short of a game, bro. Because if you got some teammates that just try their balls off in headquarters, they can literally end the game faster just for it. This class up is a laser. Don't ever try nothing like that again. I don't need ammo, so I'm good. I got the advanced. Get lasered. You're getting lasered, bro. If you're not challenging me with a sniper long range, you might as well not challenge me at all long range. There's the relentless. Now I could call it up. I couldn't see him, bro. That's the one thing is the iron sight, bro. The right, the iron sight, the back of it literally can cover the screen, bro. That's why I wanted to run an optic, but I, I couldn't sacrifice any attachments for an optic. Got killed on a 20 because no one is moving, bro. I just hit a corner and a dude will just be mounted there. Can't believe it, bruh. Kill my teammates' enemies?
Bro, gonna steal my kill, bro. Go to the headquarters, enemies. Kill my teammates. Never mind. Game over. Alrighty, brothers. I'm gonna try to drop a nuke. I've literally, like, failed, like, six or seven nukes. Getting constantly camp killed by Shadow Rat, so... I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to drop one. As long as I don't get camp, I can drop one. I know that. The problem is, every time I hit a corner, there's someone in a corner. In a corner! Thank you for running the damn tactical rifle and missed a shot. Because you could have probably gotten a lucky headshot, bruh. I would have been actually mad. This kid's running around with a combat knife. Ain't no damn way, boy. I'll pick that up. I'm on a ruthless. I need to wait until I get on a relentless. I hear footsteps. I don't know who they belong to. The reason I'm hiding because I don't feel like getting stabbed by that zooming kid with the knife because the speed on the knife is insane. At this point, I accidentally muted my Yeti and I didn't even realize it, so the rest of this gameplay is not going to have my voice audio in it, even though I didn't talk much after anyways. So if you guys see my lips moving and no audio, now you guys know my mic somehow muted by itself or I accidentally muted it when I moved it. I also added a timer because this might have been one of my fastest nukes I dropped, honestly, because it was extremely quick. It was at the end of the game and it was just so fast, I was like, bro, maybe this might be a record. So that's why I decided to time it at the end. But yeah, let's get back into the gameplay.
As you guys can see, I dropped this nuclear in 2 minutes, 16 seconds, and 46 milliseconds. Might have been my fastest nuke. Maybe the fastest in the world, I'm not too sure. Let me know if anyone beat it. Alrighty brothers, what you guys all been waiting for, my STB class up, this is what I'm running on my STB. For the first attachment, I was running the Komodo Heavy. For the second attachment, I was running the Demo Imp Grip. Third attachment, I was running the 42 round mag. I was running the Bruin Grip. And for the fifth and final attachment, I was running the F-Tac. This class up was going absolutely fire, as you guys can see in the stats. The mobility was slightly nerfed, which kind of makes no sense. I'm starting to think these stats are weird, bruh. So I literally had it built around three ADS attachments, while also tuned to ADS. And yet, the mobility is looked like it didn't change at all. It still stayed negative. It was weird, bruh. And the only thing I had, literally, that was slowing it down was a grip and an ammo clip. And it still was negative. It made no sense. So I end up adjusting the class up a little bit and it's still negative. But this class setup, honestly, still has fast ADS and it's a laser. But yeah, let's get into the tuning. For the F-TAC C11 riser, I went towards ADS speed and recoil stabilization. For the Bruin, I went towards a little bit of ADS and a little bit of aiming idle stability. You guys can adjust this. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this game, but sometimes the attachments, when you go to them and click on the tunes, they start changing by themselves, bro. So I don't know exactly what percentage I was at for this attachment alone. I don't know why the hell it keeps changing over and over again, but I know I can't be the only one that's this is happening to. Like, let me know down in the comments if this is happening to you guys as well, where you just click on the attachment. And you see the bars just moving by themselves. And you guys don't even have your hand on your controller. But you guys can tune it more if you'd like. 42 mag, you can't tune. The demo grip, I built it towards aiming idle stability and a little bit of recoil stabilization. Recoil control and also not having as much sway when I'm aiming down. And for the fifth and final attachment, the Komodo Heavy, I built it towards ADS speed and gun kick. I built it towards gun kick so my gun doesn't bounce as much while shooting. And I built it towards aim down sight speed so I can aim in faster. So yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments about this class setup and how good did you guys go using it. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.